police emergency. Yeah. How can I help you? The Kent Police Force Control Room is at the forefront in protecting the public from harm through serious or organised crime. Control calling any officer in the area of Faversham Railway Station able to assist with the sort in progress. We have around 400 staff who work a variety of shifts to provide cover 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, whatever the weather. Around a quarter of the calls that the force control room receives are actually crime related. Most are vulnerable people, missing persons, road traffic collisions, and we end up coordinating and supporting the activities both of our patrol colleagues and other agencies in supporting and finding these individuals. You can't speak, press 55 five on your keypad now. Hello, it's Kent Police here. We've received an abandoned 999 call. Just confirm you don't need police assistance. We aim to answer all calls as quickly as practicable and aim to send the nearest and most appropriate police officers to over 200 emergency calls a day and find and send those patrols in usually under three minutes. We attend a further 350 non-urgent calls and arrange a further 450 appointments every day. Kilo 642, 642 for patrol for immediate grey call please over. CCTV can play an important role in helping Kent Police prevent crime and in January 2012 a CCTV operator in Gloucestershire helped us do just that. Good evening Kent Police Control Room, how may I help you? I'm um, phoning in regards to a confirmed CCTV activation we've had on uh, Bluebird Hill. And what is it you've actually got there, CCTV showing? There's to be four persons trying to gain access to the site through the main gate. They're a high copper value okay. on the site. So you've got one male now in the site, yeah? That's correct, yeah. The other three are remaining off-site at the moment. They're basically trying to get the gate open still. We've actually got one of our police dog handlers on the way at the moment. The information the call handlers receive is vital for our officers to make a prompt response, even if the person making the call is over 150 miles away from the incident, as was in this case. They've stopped trying to go to the gate now. Uh, they're basically trying to get out of the site now. Uh, right, one has left site. The other one is leaving site now as well. Right, so all the mowers are now out of the site, are they? That's correct, yeah. OK, the uh, vehicle is now moving away from the gate. Patrol saying vehicle possibly going cross-country towards Bell Lane. With the vehicle now heading across country, we scrambled the police helicopter to assist in this pursuit. QH99, we are overhead now. Was that him shooting? There was a bright flash came out of his left seat. Yes, shiny in a big torch. With all pursuits, we try to end them as quickly and as safely as possible. And if need be, we deploy the stinger. We're at the top of uh, Warrenwood Road, Blue Bell entrance. We've got a stinger out. I was at the bottom. Stinger out. Impact. No, no, we've uh, still got visual on them. Uh, they're still moving. Vehicle maintaining the It's stuck behind a member of the public. 99, I don't know what kind of vehicle you are driving, but when you pass this vehicle, you have a clear road ahead. You have the option to use tactical contact should you feel a need. Even after taking a direct hit from the Stinger, the vehicle continued at speed, passing other cars, and tried keeping to the woods. But with a damaged tyre, the inevitable eventually happened. This vehicle, it looks like the, the rear tyres are starting to shred. In fact, that's a decamp. That's a decamp. Stand by. At this point, the four suspects take the only option left open to them. And hide in the woods. 99, nine, there's a police vehicle just rounding Barn Wood. They're in the they're on your near side now, now, now. Stop, stop, stop. And be aware there are four of them. I don't want you to get jumped. With the thermal imagery from the helicopter pinpointing their exact position, the officers moved in and arrested the four suspects. 99 nine, for information of all units, it looks like uh, all four uh, in the press have been detained. All four men was successfully prosecuted at Magistrates Court and one of them was given a custodial sentence.